Go apply for the SBA loan, man. Appreciate you, man. Our special guest is in the motherfucking building, man. West Side till we D I E, man. What's up, big homie? What's the deal, brother? I got. Hey, I appreciate you coming in, glasses, man. Man, thanks thank for having me, dog. Thank you, thank you man. for having me. Yeah, man. So, 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 uh, uh, before we get started, man, the barbershop has been on fire the last couple of days, man. And the topic of conversation has been, uh, Gary Russell versus Devin Hayne. I know you, the boxing, you're a boxing aficionado. <laughs> so I'm very interested because you all, I remember you and I disagreed about Fury and Wilder. We're going to yeah. get there too. You know what I mean? But, uh, we got, hey, we got all night, nigga. We got all, all night. <laughs> I love talking to you, nigga, because I can use nigga. I can say fuck. I can do whatever I want to do. We can go. But uh, uh, Gary, Gary Russell Russ- versus, versus uh, Haney. Haney too big. Haney too big? A big old boy, man. That's a big boy right there. Mm. Um, yeah, that's a dope, quick, fast hands, you know. But I mean, I, I Haney big, man. That's a big old guy at 135. That's a big boy at 135. Sure. I wish I wish, I wish Gary would have waited and, and, and got at a tank after this. That would have been cooler, but you know, that's how I work, I guess. Tank Leo, how you like that one? It's a, good, it's a way better fight than everybody believes. Mm. Um, I won't pick nobody. Mm. Oh, you um, won't pick nobody? You won't pick nobody? Um, I got to see that one because um, while I think Tank is more the talented fighter, Leo's style is just a rough style to beat. Sure. And Tank is there to be in a fight, so she's going to be in a fight. I got that, man. So, yeah, man. Welcome, man. You, so, yeah, how's, la- how's the last album coming, man? Man, you made man, you made ways. I had about 45 conversations about you going every which way. Tupac, Snoop, Tupac must die. By the way, that fucking visual, you should have turned that, you should have applied, you should have put that in short, in uh, film festivals as a short film, dog. Yeah, you know what's funny, man? Like, somebody else told me that, and I never thought about it like that was, when I set out to do it, I just was thinking like, man, I'm going to make something dope for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm going to make something dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to tell a story that everybody know, but I'm going to tell it from a perspective that they never thought about. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it worked out for that one, but yeah, I, I fucked that up. I could have did a lot of better stuff, but again, sometimes you don't be knowing what mm-hmm. art you got, feel me, to you, to, you, to everybody else see it. Uh-huh. How's it been with that? And, and, and let me ask you, now, a, a year later, it's been about a year now, yes, do you have yes. any reservations about maybe you could have done better or maybe you shouldn't have done it from an artistic perspective? No, I could have did better. Um, the art of it is perfect. Like, I wouldn't even change it. I think it's one of the few times I felt like I I, I compromised just enough and kept it pure just enough mm-hmm. for the people. Um, but for sure, yeah, I would do it again for sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, YouTube shadow banned me for it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you already know that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, besides that, you know, it's all good. Like, you know, you have people that complain about it and, and, and you know, but you, the people that get it really get it. Uh, you feel like over time, people will get it more and more and it'll get, it's such a dope piece of art. I Like, I, I got it right on that one that I feel like oh, time goes, people will notice it and they'll constantly talk about it and be like, yo, this is really dope. Do you think people are not valuing the art form because of the magnitude of the person that was in there? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, with most people, it ain't never the message, it's the messenger. So <laughs> it's like, so, you know, it, because it was Tupac, it, it became like such a hard thing to digest. Mm. And, um, you know, but that's the point of dope hip hop. You know, when Dre, when Dr. Dre was cussing me out about the shit, I remember referencing N.W.A. to him, like when y'all did fuck the police. I'm like, he like, gee, but that was a different time. I'm like, yeah, but it's not a different time. Mm. You feel me? It's like, that's the point of making dope hip hop. It's one thing to be disrespectful to legends and, you know, put down people, icons that died. That's not the point. The point is to shed light on the culture that we all grew up in. Sure. You know I, mean? that's, I feel like nobody was able to do it as good as that. I feel mm. like you get all the bravado from all of the icons that I grew up listening to. Absolutely. And you get the bravado from my peers. You don't get the blues of it. You don't get the pain of it. You don't get really why. You just get, oh, I'm tough. I'm bad. You don't get like, yo, I'm worried about how my friends going to see me. I'm worried about when I go back on the block. Like, how embarrassed am I going to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You don't get that. You don't get somebody praising God that they're able to dispense justice. So, 
And those are all true emotions, you know, with this shit. Like I know, mm -hmm. you know, like the back of my hand. 